hello so um i recently did a video on using qfield cloud for your um for your mapping okay um i did it and i explained how you can be able to connect your local qgis project onto qgis cloud and then link it to your phone so that you can use your phone for mapping i'll link these videos to um to, to this video when i upload it um but i just want to make a follow-up on it because i'm getting a number of questions that i feel i should um make in another video just to uh, for the benefit of any doubt now the videos i recorded earlier they explain how you can connect your local uh, qgis onto your phone they, they explain how you can connect your QGIS project onto your phone so that you can use your phone as a data collection tool or let's say a receiver so that you can map out certain assets on the ground All right now what this video is coming to show you is how you can connect or use QField for your teams okay so you, let's say you are you, you intend to use 10 devices or 50 devices or two devices you understand how do you configure it in such a way that all these devices can map and contribute to the same project without each person having to create his own project now at the end of this video you find out that it's very simple and it's just like working on a single device there's no much difference but for the benefit of the doubt i have decided to record this video again all right Now, QFold, um, for those of you who are new to it, it's a data collection um, tool, all right? It works with QGIS. I don't know if it's, if anybody has managed to connect it with ArcGIS or other GIS software. I'm not so sure. But like the name suggests, it's meant for QGIS, all right? If you have QGIS, which is open source, if you have Quantum GIS, you can easily download QFold on your device and then use it. Okay, by connecting it to your phone, connecting your project to your phone. Um, so basically, the way it works, we have QFold offline and we have QFold cloud. I'm not talking about the offline here. This whole video is about QFold cloud because I feel it's more efficient and easy to work with. All right. So for QFold, QFold cloud, all you have to do is create your project on the cloud. Instead of creating your project on your PC, create your project on the cloud. And then log into your uh, your project with your phone or tablet or whatever device you have. And then you automatically be able to access whatever layers or shape files you already had on your um, project. Okay. Now the procedure is very simple, and it's the same for both Android and iOS. So you see that I only put the procedure on the Android. Um, the android and the interface is also almost the same there's no much difference you can see on the right side there's no much difference between the ios interface and the android interface except maybe the ios um, icons and texts all right textiles now the procedure is i'll be showing you in details or i'll i'll, I'll refer you to another video where you can watch it in details all right but i just want to give you the procedure the procedure is create your qgis project all right that's on qgis sign up for a qfold account that's assuming you're a new person so if you're a new person you need to sign up for a qfold account it's very simple you can do it in less than a minute you just fill in your name your email a couple of things and a password all right then you install qfold on your on your qgis software okay uh, the video i'm referring i'm going to refer to you uh, would show you how to do all these things so you don't have to worry about it i'm just saying this so that you you have an idea now convert your local qgis project into a cloud project so assuming you didn't create your qgis project on your um on the cloud directly and you had created it on locally on your pc then all you need to do is convert it to a cloud project and the videos i'm referring to you or the video i'm referring to you already does that all these things are things i have already recorded videos on one single video is enough for you all right but the last part is what i want you to focus on log in your devices and start mapping now 
you don't need to create several accounts for several phones you just need to have one account and then log each phone with all your uh, with with that account i don't know if you understand me um i've not seen any restrictions yet and and i have to put this disclaimer out there i have not used killfield for a major project like i'm describing like using killfield to map out um a big project using several devices no i have i tried killfield with three devices and then uh, i i know it's working so um if there's a chance you tried it with let's say up to 10 devices and you're having any issues you can put it in this com in the in the comments below so maybe i i could also check them out and we can figure solutions to them so like i'm saying create one account for your project create your project in that account and use your devices login your 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 devices to that account and then that's it you have access all of you all your tell your team members give them the password and then the email and then let them log in the same for ios now you may be wondering what if um, you don't want um, your team members to know your username and password in this case i i thought about it and i even tried looking for solutions i couldn't find any so what i think you should do is create a, um, a company email a, a company account for killfold i don't know if you understand use your company email or what use someone's email to create a company account for killfold okay so um an account that is public that you don't mind sharing the password with so all you have to do is when you create the account and you create a project on that account share that account details like the the account username and account password to your team members and let them log in so you see it's a simple thing you have four devices here and each of them is connected to the same project here so simple it's not anything complicated all right so um that's it for now uh, i will attach the videos i'm referring to there are just two videos one for ios and one for for android okay now these procedures i've explained you can you can connect ios and an android you can map with all these devices together you don't have to map with only androids you can map with ios and androids together okay maybe this first phone is an android this second phone could be an ios this third phone an ios fourth phone and android there's no restriction to any of them all right so um the videos i recorded two videos explaining how you can set up q fold on your device as well as on your um laptop okay now what i suggest you should do is now that you have this idea if you don't know how to set it up on your pc or on your phone please follow the link i'm going to provide in the description as well as in the right top corner or well anywhere on the screen i'm not sure where to pop up but please follow these videos okay learn how to set it up on your android device and also on your ios devices if you have any all right so guys thank you very much i think that's all if you have any questions you can ask me and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and please consider liking my videos asante